Do we know where, where the explosion happened? Okay, we'll go to this camp with Selim. We'll do what we need to do there and we'll head back. The Syria I grew up in was a place of wonderment. Today, the Syria I knew has been destroyed, shattering into millions of pieces in the form of men, women, and children fleeing from the chaos of that fall. Lebanon has over 2 million Syrian refugees. 70% of those are under the age of 18. There's a lot of people really, really suffering, and it's just sad. All the big INGOs, the UN agencies are here, but the, the catastrophe is so huge in numbers that it's difficult to cope with. Due to the sheer number of refugees in Beka, many settlements like this one have never received assistance. I believed in the government. I believed in the big NGOs helping people around the world. I didn't think that me, as a single human being, could make a difference or could help anybody at all. International volunteers do everything they can with the resources they have, but the needs for basic food and water here is staggering. <laughs> This man crossed the border from Syria only four days ago with nothing but what he could carry on his back. These amazing people, regardless of their situation, they work hard. They are always willing to help each other, help other people. They're willing to give, even though they have little, you know, or nothing. And it gives me hope for humanity. For now, we'll do what we can to shine a small light into the darkness in the hope that somehow those who need it the most will see it and know that they are not forgotten.